Hey guys, so I'm Lily O'Reilly and this is Lily O'Reilly Reviews and today we're actually trying out something new. We're gonna check out a bone box. So let's get to it, yeah? All right, so today we're doing the whole like no makeup because I got home from filming and washed it all off and then realized that this cool ass new thing was here. So I subscribed to this thing called a bone box from the company Skulls Unlimited. And I'm a huge like vulture culture bone nerd. And these guys for 20 bucks a month send you a box of bones. I don't know, sounded cool. So I'm gonna break this open. I'll show you what's inside. We'll kind of figure out the value and hopefully this is something we can do every month when my cool ass box shows up. So. Let's do that. So, let's crack it open. Oh, that's cute. Welcome to the skeleton crew. Real bone specimens, and then some of their fancy stuff. Now, I knew Skulls Unlimited was legit because I picked up a bobcat skull from them in the past because I have a really nifty bobcat skull tattoo so when I ran into one of their skulls at a conference I was attending, I knew I had to have one. So, everything comes packed in brown paper. One sec. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, so, what did we get? There is a shoot and share promotional thing. Basically, we take pictures, we hashtag it on social media, and maybe they send you a free box, which is kind of cute. It's a really cool, like, little viral marketing way to get your shit out there. And you gotta admit, that's a very well done photo. So, there is, ah, uh, Okay, so this tells you what's in the box each month, apparently. It looks like we're getting a pheasant. So, this month, Bone Box delivers to you the common pheasant. The pheasant is native to Asia and was introduced to the United States in the 18th century. Pheasants are one of the most common game birds, along with quail and guinea fowl. This bird demonstrates sexual dimorphism, with females in general being smaller and less colorful. Young pheasants are also less colorful, which helps them avoid predation. They have very opportunistic feeding habits and are able to catch small mammals and reptiles when they're not eating seeds, grains, or fruits. This makes them omnivorous. They use their claws to dig out prey from the ground and can even dig through 12 inches of snow to find food in the winter. Pheasants can run to escape danger or spring off of the ground into flight to avoid predators. Despite not being able to sustain flight over long distances, young pheasants can begin to fly at 12 days old. And it gives you the class, order, family, genus and species, diet, and range up at the top, which is all like super cool. And my Latin is so rusty, we are not trying any of those names. Otherwise, I'm sure at least one of my old bio professors would be like rolling in his grave. So, there's that. And that means this is probably the actual skull. Okay, so the skull came wrapped in bubble wrap. It's in a Ziploc. It's a pheasant, which apparently retails for 29 bucks. So given that the box itself was 20, like we've already surpassed the value. Um, let's pop this open. There's one Ziploc bag with the skull. There is Oh, oh, this is cool. Okay, so they give you a little card about what it is. I guess an info card for display, which I think is super nifty. They give you the skull itself. Oh God, I'm always terrified when I touch bird skulls. They're so delicate. Holy God, this feels like it's made out of nothing. So lower jaw is of course unhinged because unless you glue them together, because I've had companies send me skulls where they've super glued the lower jaw on and I don't judge. 
but it is a very beautiful, very well done. My God, I just love how tenuous these things look. And it is, I am taking that lower jaw off before something happens to it. It's wonderfully cleaned. There's no issues with discoloration. There's no grease. There's no leftover meaty bits. Like whatever the process they're using to clean, I'm gonna bet it's the beetles. But whatever process they're using is marvelously well done. They've even managed to preserve the beak cap which is kind of hard to do so I am suitably impressed and the lower jaw as well is just incredibly delicate so very very fine but absolutely beautiful and the thing that had me really surprised when I popped it out of the wrapping is that they included the ossicles, which are incredibly hard to preserve when you're making this kind of skull. Like, there's no way I'm taking these out because they're far too delicate. And I am just, that really is the like, that's how you can tell the company really takes pride in what they're doing is they include those little details. Oh, and then we got a little lanyap a little something extra they tossed in a raccoon claw which apparently retails for four bucks and it's really just a pop this out too little run-of-the-mill probably came off somebody's backyard trash panda little claw it's cute it's not something that i am particularly interested in hanging on to as a display piece but it's a nice little add-in so overall, we had $29 for the skull, $4 for the claw. We're up to $33 in a $20 box. Like, I'm absolutely willing to say that this is an amazing deal. And I'm actually super excited to be part of the skeleton crew. So, so sorry. I completely spaced it. They also tossed in a super cute little decal. This is 100% my kind of thing, and it actually fell out when I was putting the paper back in the box, so I'd completely missed it. So, yet another really nifty little thing from the company. All right, back to the regularly scheduled me talking thing. If you like this, I know it's a departure from my usual, but like, I'm here to review shit, and this is cool shit. So if you like this, drop me a comment, hit subscribe, like the video, uh, any guesses for what next month's bones are going to be? Because I'm going into this blind, so this is going to be so much fun. And yeah, thanks for being you, thanks for being here, and thanks for putting up with me bringing my weird-ass shit into the channel because I wanted to share. So, bye guys!